Bondi Beach now and um, I'm here with my friend Stan and we're sitting on beautiful Marimekko floral seats <laughs> and uh, there's people running by, you see them in the mirrors everywhere, look at that. Rose, what's your name dear? Katie. Katie, Katie sounds like she's from New Hampshire. <laughs> From Ireland. Oh, from Ireland. <laughs> and you were, at least I got the coast right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, safe to reach. What was it again? Sorry. Double, Double shot, shot. Okay. Thanks, Katie. We'll soon be down looking at the sculptures by the sea. Yeah. Yay. It's breakfast with a view. Look at that. Breakfast with a view at Bondi. Virtual Museum. Well, here we are at Sculptures by the Sea. You can see behind me there's the sea glistening, sculptures standing up out of the rocks. There's people walking the walking track between Bondi South and Bronte. There's schools galore. It's going to be busy, but there's beautiful sculptures and beautiful flags. So let's go for a walk. This is known as the crack. This. Oh, that's the crack. And what's this one here with the horse? It's a man from the Snowy River? <laughs> I don't know if the one up the top there, anyway. Oh, the Christmas decoration? Yeah. It's made out of video <laughs> Oh, it's all video tags. A man above. A man above. Who's the artist? And the artist we have is... Philip Morelli. Yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah. Nice. I see you. I see you. <laughs> C-S-E-A. S-E-A. Beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. I like the way he's dropped that down and pulled it into the um, And this is something to do with the sixth construct of cannibalism. Yes. I mean, I'd love a little bit of an explanation on that, I think. Uh, yeah. Around the rocks, the eye explores people's different perceptions of reality with special reference to technology and the changes in the dream. Oh. Will all coral look like this in 50 years time? I thought this was a better comment on the garbage than that one. Yes, it looks much, much more, more like what you find in the sea. And poking... That's uh, beautiful. Poached by climate change. In the commercial world full of temptation, will one gain salvation through material satisfaction or be lost in a life of luxury? Oh dear. That's very pertinent, isn't it? I saw the helicopters trying to put it in. Oh, well they're just pretty, aren't they? I guess they're just flags. They represent kinetic motion. The ocean. Good, how are you going? Good. Have you seen all the sculptures? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got a friend that's got one down here. Oh, perfect. So. Yeah. <laughs> seen all the best ones and skipping the rest. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Where are you from? Nova Scotia, Canada. Nova Scotia? I didn't know Nova Scotia was Canada. Did they take that over too, did they? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, I was with him at university. For... Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're a mean, a marine student. scientist? He's a master this one. All right. Yeah. Supposedly, well, they let me pass. Yeah. <laughs> I think you passed well. Yeah, What's good. your name? Patrick. Patrick. Patrick, yeah. Patrick from Nova Scotia, Canada. No, yeah, that's Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. <laughs> they're very interesting photographically against the sea. Chaos and order. Which one's chaos? Describes contemporary individuals surrounded by the magnitude of everyday emotions. Made up of three drawings of black bronze, each image is seen in turn against oh, the wow. sky. Oh wow! It's really beautiful. You investigate the world. It's lovely the face. It's the uh, Mother Nature sculpture, <laughs> cool. done by um, Mother Nature herself. <laughs> uh, and uh, this installation wasn't done by any artist. It's another Mother Nature piece. It's called Rock Shelf at South Bondi. Refractal column. Feeling for beauty is inspired by harmonious arrangement of order and disorder as a period of nature. Beautiful. Fantastic. Oh, look at this. Uh, the gilded cage. Hmm. It's incredible that they've got a tree. It looks like a boardroom table with a tree on it, deciding the future of the world. <laughs> there. <laughs> Just a little pirouette with the rocks and everything. Yeah. 
I'm just going to go in for a close up on the texture of the um, matting of the, part of the, of the plants. It's like a little baby pig face. Really beautiful. Oh, I love that. That is just sensational. And the way it's just uh, with the green and the sky there is um, really amazing. Okay, so there, so there. Here I am at the pivotal star, the Star of David. Oh, that's great. <laughs> the Bondi sculptures by the sea put up by the Art Gallery of New South Wales. As you can see, the star form as you walk past it. Oh, there we go, it's forming now. Do we just think we'd come out? Hi. Have you met Jenny before? No, I haven't. Hi, Jenny. I'm Stan. Hi, this is Jenny. Now, Dave, David? Oh, yeah. I met Tanya oh, well, twice. Twice. Yeah. <laughs> the Remembrance Windmill. It just can't remember how to turn right at the minute. It's moshy. It's moshy. Yeah, this is Stan's going to give me a little commentary on it. sculpture called uh, Railway Links. So what they actually are are two railway links that hold the railway line is down. So okay. Maybe get one of these links and just fuse it in with the other to make it look like two figures in form. So what he's actually done is been able to get two pieces of material out of our real world and integrate it into a piece of nature. As he would put it, a study exploring the relationship and interaction between figures of the same nature. And um, done, Mosh has actually just cut off some little bits and pieces and took these all these little pieces of plywood in there. As you can see if you come to the close up there and just fuse all that together into this beautiful flowing form. So congratulations to Mosh, who's only a second year art student, that he they would find his work so responsive that they feel that it should go in for these other beautiful artists. So good on you, Mosh. Well done, yeah, I yeah, agree. Proud of it. Fantastic. Work. Oh, there's sandstone. Well, actually, I think how bloody have, uncomfortable must they be? I think they must have coated them. They look like sand. Yeah, they just look like sand over pairs of shoes. Yes. Yeah, it's been done with epoxy and sand. What did you say the name of it was? Transfiguration. You see those two there? Gorgeous examples. But look at the crowd they've got. More crowd than anything else in the art show. And I heard one woman saying, he's a fine figure of a man, isn't he? <laughs> How good is that? Ceramic I don't believe a word of it. Oh. <laughs> Smile.